was a kid, I loved music. I knew that. But it, I was like 20 something when I discovered that. And I took piano lessons, but I hated piano lessons. And I was 20 something when I fi finally got a bass guitar and started playing along to like, you know, the breeders and stuff like that. And then I got a regular guitar and started writing songs and didn't look back from then on. Piano, like I had piano lessons forever and hated it. Cause I was playing other people's stupid songs, you know? Classical and cheesy stuff like The Entertainer. Rhapsody in Blue, yeah, and American in Paris. Both of those, my grandmother had those records, and she would play them for, we, I'd beg her, play, play American in Paris and Rhapsody in Blue, and she would play them, and so I just, whenever I would hear those songs after that, I would just equate that with happy times at Grandma's house, you know. Early Bob Dylan. Um, I can listen. Um, I think it's it's hard to put a finger on, but I think it's um, his chord changes and the the atmospheric feeling of some of his songs. And even though his singing's not that great, that's part of the charm. It made me think, well, shoot, you know, here's here's a guy who can't really sing very well, but he's got some good songs and his lyrics are killer. So it encouraged me to think, well, shoot, I don't sing that great, but um, I can still be a songwriter, too, you know. Check it out. I've arrived in Memphis. There you go. Another one is Mississippi Fred McDowell. And I, um, when I first heard him, I was like, I've got to learn how to play slide guitar. And um, that's why I was excited, too, when Yep Rock said, how about going to Mississippi to record and soaking up some of that atmosphere? Because I'm originally from Mississippi. I thought it would be fun. And when we heard Como, that's where Fred McDowell's from, is Como. So I was like, ooh. Well, the first band I was in, when I first started playing music, I was playing bass and um, writing all the songs for the band, but we sucked. We, it was me and two other girls and none of us really knew how to play. We would just get together several times a week to play for the fun of it. And um, the songs were really silly and we could barely make it through a song without somebody totally messing up. And, and uh, the name of the band was Pussy Teeth, which was a horrible name. Uh, my friend Natalie came up with that name, and she was really bossy. And even though the other, you know, the other girl and I didn't like the name, we just had to stick with it because Natalie, you know, basically thought she was running the show. And I love Natalie, so we never played any gigs. We played one show for a party at the Flying Burrito. We played like six songs and. I dropped my bass, I think, and got a hand cramp. I was so nervous. And This is uh, Como. I guess um, after that experience, I had to keep telling Natalie where to put her fingers and what would sound good with my bass line. And I was like, just uh, forget it. I'll play guitar, you know. So that band didn't last long. And then, then I started Trailer Bride, and the very, the very first incarnation of Trailer Bride was just as bad as Pussy Teeth, because my drummer 
Scott Lover couldn't keep down a steady beat, and I would get so nervous before shows that um, I was just, I don't know, stage fright was horrible for me. And um, we were pretty bad, but I do remember one of our first shows, we played with the Squirrel Nut Zippers. It was like their first show. That's because we just came from Marshall's juke joint. We tried to, well, we went in. It was awesome. We were the only white people there. No big deal. It's a free country. And um, there was not a band, though, but the place was so cool. It was painted like a beach, water, waves breaking, tropical. It was awesome. There were empty beer bottles and beer cans everywhere. It was about, what, 8 o'clock on Sunday night? Whoa, I lost the moon. Here it comes. Okay. We told them we were musicians and we would play, but, you know, they did, I don't know, they weren't really enthused about white ladies coming in to play, so we, we let it lie. <laughs> 